Hello. Today, I'm going to take you through various elements of fetal fibronectin testing. This video is going to take you through the collection and analysis of the test. Now I will discuss with you how to take a fetal fibronectin sample, contraindications and precautions. In the UK, fetal fibronectin is valid for use within two groups of patients, between 22 and 35 plus six weeks for symptomatic women, and between 18 and 27 plus six weeks for asymptomatic women with risk factors for preterm birth. The fetal fibronectin test must be performed prior to any examination or manipulation of the cervix, including digital cervical exam, collection of culture specimens, collection of rupture of membrane test sample, or vaginal probe ultrasound exam. The specimen should not be obtained in the presence of cervical dilation more than three centimeters, ruptured membranes, cervical cerclage, placenta previa, presence of soaps, gels, lubricants or disinfectants, or gross or moderate vaginal bleeding. Care must be taken not to contaminate the swab or cervicovaginal secretions with lubricants, soaps, disinfectants or creams. These substances can interfere with absorption of the specimen by the swab or with the antibody-antigen reaction of the fetal fibronectin test. It is important to remember that moderate or gross vaginal bleeding is an independent risk factor for preterm delivery and may be associated with other severe obstetrical or medical problems. Precautions to be aware of include specimens contaminated with blood and patients who have had sexual intercourse within the previous 24 hours. The presence of blood or semen in a fetal fibronectin sample can sometimes lead to a falsely elevated result. However, results under the specified threshold for treatment at your facility can still be considered valid in either of these situations because contamination by blood or semen will not cause a falsely lowered result. Ensure you only use the specimen collection kit provided by Hologic for the purpose of a fetal fibronectin test. During speculum examination, lightly rotate the swab across the posterior fornix of the vagina for 10 seconds to absorb cervicovaginal secretions. Remove swab and immerse polyester tip into the buffer solution and mix for 10 seconds. If you are not intending to analyse the sample immediately, ensure you are holding the swab below the black line and bend the shaft of the swab so that it snaps at the black line. To replace the cap of the test tube, align the shaft with the hole inside the tube cap and push down tightly over shaft, sealing the tube. Ensure the shaft is correctly aligned to avoid leakage. Please note the sample is stable for up to eight hours at room temperature, allowing you a window of time to decide whether to analyse the sample or not. It is important to note that the specimen collection kits are at no extra cost in the UK. This affords greater flexibility as samples can be collected without incurring any cost, as only those samples requiring analysis will utilise the fetal fibronectin cassette. Testing patient sample. Select test patient. Enter user ID either on the screen or using the barcode scanner. Press Next. Enter lot number either using the touch screen or the barcode scanner. Press Next. Please note, if the cassette lot number has changed, you must set calibration. Enter patient ID using the touch screen or the patient label if a barcode is present. When ready, press Next. Insert a new cassette until it clicks, but don't press next just yet. Draw up a patient sample prior to pressing next to avoid the system timing out. The system allows 30 seconds to enter patient sample before timing out. When ready, press next. 
and on prompt pipette exactly 200 microliters of mixed patient sample into cassette and then press start test. You will notice that the screen tells you how long is remaining before the result is available and what time you can return. At this point you can walk away. When finished, the patient result is printed. Press print for a second copy if required. With less than 10 minutes analysis, you will receive a results label, which details your quality control, traceability such as user ID and patient number, and your quantitative fetal fibronectin result in nanograms per milliliter. Please refer to your local protocol regarding the management of your patient. Your facility may be utilising the Quip app. The Women's Health Academic Centre, King's College London, have developed the Quip app as a tool to predict spontaneous preterm birth, incorporating fetal fibronectin, cervical length and risk factors in symptomatic and high-risk asymptomatic women. This app is available to download free through iTunes and Google Play. Clinicians are widely using this tool and you can find the QUIP Toolkit endorsed by the British Association of Perinatal Medicine here. The Perilinks has the ability to store 1,000 patient records. You are able to access patient results, cue sets, calibration or liquid controls and reprint for your records. From the main menu, select View Reports, select Access Data. You can then select Patient Results, QSET QC, Liquid QC or Calibration. Scroll through for Result Required, select the result and press Print. For additional support, please visit www.ffntest.co.uk or email ffntest at hologic.com